Oh, they got it. He got it. I've been contemplating posting a video like this for a while now. I normally only post these types of videos on my Vimeo channel because of YouTube's censorship, as well as the fact that the general public sometimes has a hard time understanding that cute animals can sometimes be horribly destructive. Most people consider rats ugly, and so have little concern with how or when they die. But when something cute needs population control, it doesn't seem to matter how much trouble the animal is causing, people are in an uproar. So, in an effort to educate the general public, as well as to satisfy the curiosity of some of my subscribers, I'm going to post a carefully edited version of this video for YouTube. If you want to see the uncensored version of this and many other videos like it, you will need to subscribe to my Vimeo channel. Alrighty, so today we are doing a little adventure. We've got my sidekick, Olive. Say hi, Olive. Hi. We've got Gremlin to go down the holes and chase anything out. We've got Boss here in case Gremlin gets in trouble with a raccoon and needs some backup. We've got our regular beaver hunting tools. And that's why we're bringing the boat, so we can pack all of along easier and pack some of our tools. Plus, if we get a beaver, they're pretty heavy. It'll make it a lot easier packing them out on the boat. So most of the river, it's quite a bit lower. It's about a foot lower than it usually is. So we should be able to wade in our waders. And I've got my Taiwee waders on today. Loving them, been wearing them a lot, and they're super comfortable. So I wanted to make sure I had these on so my feet didn't get sore as much ground as we're covering. I'm glad you're having fun, sweetheart. Like you like riding in the boat? Yeah. I like having you with me in the boat. It makes me happy to have my little girl with me in the boat. Beavers are a natural and important part of the Utah ecosystem as their dam building activities creates ponds and wetlands that are important habitat to various species of fish, birds, and animals. The beavers themselves also provide food for large predators such as wolves, bears, and mountain lions. Since these large predators are no longer living in this area, the beaver numbers often grow out of control, requiring humans to take the place of these large predators in keeping the beaver populations at a healthy level. Just like wolves, mountain lions, and bears enjoy hunting and harvesting beavers for their delicious meat, I also like to hunt beavers for their meat and fur. Also, I'm often paid to come and remove them when they start to cause problems with building their dams and chewing down too many trees. Beavers are beautiful animals and an important part of the natural Utah ecosystem. But just like any other animal, their population needs to be kept at healthy levels or they start to cause far more harm than good. Raccoons, on the other hand, are not a natural part of the Utah ecosystem. Though they naturally occur in most other states across the U.S., raccoons are recent newcomers in the state of Utah. The first raccoon noticed in Utah was in 1952, and it was believed to be introduced by someone wanting to harvest them for their fur. Since that time, these destructive animals have quickly spread across the state, and their populations are now out of control. Like beavers, raccoons have no natural predators in this area, which allows their numbers to reach ridiculous levels, putting a strain on native wildlife and causing a lot of nuisance for humans. Though raccoons look quite cute and cuddly from a distance, they are in reality highly aggressive and very destructive animals, especially when living in an ecosystem where they don't belong. Since there are no natural predators keeping their numbers in check, the responsibility falls on humans to reduce the numbers of this highly destructive invasive species. Unfortunately, raccoon hunting and trapping is not very popular pastime in this state. Since they are newcomers to this area, there is no local raccoon hunting or trapping tradition so commonly found in other states where raccoons are native. The lack of predation from both humans and natural predators has allowed this devastating infestation of raccoons to spread across the state of Utah, causing problems for humans and devastating natural wildlife. In addition to being serious pests, raccoons are seriously good eating. Historically, eating raccoon meat has been popular across the country, especially in the south. 
Unfortunately, in recent times, people have become increasingly picky, often turning their nose up at these traditional American foods. I am so proud of him if he gets the food. Oh, they got it. He got it. Good job, boss. That was a sweet locate. He just started whining, he was on the boat. He started whining and looking in the brush. I'm like, well, if you wanna try it, let's see if you can find something. Perfect find, like, we weren't even looking for raccoons necessarily, we were just going down the boat. He leans out, sniff, 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 sniff. There's something in those breeds. I'm like, all right, well, if you think there is, let's go see if it's your find. Turn him loose, bam, he catches it right off. Clean coat, throat hold. Quick, 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 effortless kill. I'm just as pleased as, as Punch. Good job, Mr. Boss. I want to find a raccoon. You want to find a raccoon? Um, yeah. Yeah, do you like catching the raccoon? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go find another raccoon. I want to catch a raccoon. Okay, let's go catch it. <sighs> just another day at the office. I'll take my coffee break. Except I don't drink coffee, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, he wants out. Let me, hold on, boss, hold on. Let me see if I can get a short touch here. Yeah. Daddy! Daddy! Yes, there's a stuck in right here! Whoa. Okay, is he it, boss? Where is it? Go get it, boss. Where is it? Go get it. That's I This is where it started snowing. They did it again. They told me, hey, there's something in these reeds. And we pulled over and sure enough, there's something in those reeds. It's a good thing we had a little gremlin because it was so thick. Oh man, we gotta start, or I guess keep paying attention. That's Ooh. two for two. Two Just times stop. boss said, hey, stop here. There's something. And Can two times see? we get a coon. You wanna see, see it? See that. Oh my gosh, she's so big. He's so big, huh? That's not actually very big. That's that's an okay size, but it's not that big. There's the sun. Daddy, there's the sun. Oh, there's the sun. Oh, the sun is by my eye. The sun's in your eye? I put it in my eyes and the sun is in my eye. Oh, yeah. Close your eyes, all the sun in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Uh huh, it's so much fun. Daddy, can we get another one? Do you want to get another one, raccoon? Uh, this. Tres raccoons? Yeah. Um, and the more raccoon, it's not anymore. Oh, okay. How do you say raccoon in Espanol? Mapache. Mapache. Quieres atrapar tres mapaches. Ajá, a mapache. Ajá, mapache. That's how you say raccoon in Spanish. En inglés se llaman raccoons. En, in, en español se llaman mapaches. What secret? looks like a duck right there. This one is a duck. See, see this one right here and this one here? This is a duck. Oh. This one? What do you think this one is? Raccoon. Raccoon. Good job. Now let's see if you can do another one. What's this one right here? It's a duck. duck. This one's a duck. It's a little duck. But... And what's, what's this one right here? Raccoon, good job. What's this little one? What do you think this little one is? Um, um, gremlin. Gremlin, no, it's not a gremlin. It's a rat. Oh. That's a rat. And this one right here is a kitty. <gasps> I saw a kitty in the, in the tree. You saw a kitty in the tree? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, here's another one. What's this little one? Um, awesome. What do you think this little um, one is? All right, good job. High five. You're uh, so smart. No. Oh, is my hand dirty? <laughs> Denied. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, let's oh. keep going. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> She's like, uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to touch that hand. No. You want all of them? You want to catch five? Yeah. That would be wild. So we had a successful day. Little Gremlin and Boss got worked hard. They need to get in, have a good meal and a good bath and go to sleep because man, they're tuckered out. Little Miss Olive, you need to get in and get all dry, huh? Are you cold? Yeah. Let's go get you all warm and have a yummy dinner, huh? So yeah, thanks for joining us guys. It was a very successful day. We've got three less coons, which is great for the environment. You know, like I said, they're an invasive species. And it's good for us to, to get their numbers down. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll show you more next time.